Rufus. I am a little bit under the weather today, so sorry if my voice sounds a little bit different. So yes, today I am going to be testing out one or two uh, Polaroid myths regarding the film and film handling, etc. So this first one isn't necessarily a myth, it's actually kind of the disproving of a myth that I'm trying to disprove, um, which is don't shake it like a Polaroid. I want to see just how damaged a Polaroid can get when you shake it. So, uh, in observation, there seems to have been some layer separation. So, I'll let this finish developing off screen. And we can move on to the next thing. Now, this one's gonna be kind of hard to test, so I'm probably gonna do it off camera. But, I want to see how important it is to let the Polaroids develop in the dark. And if having them develop in full and complete darkness could actually be detrimental to them. So I am going to take a photo, perhaps having the slot spit out right into my changing bag, or just going into a fully dark room and using the flash. Either way, the film will not be exposed to light at all, and we'll see if that might actually cause some problems. My thinking behind this is in black and white photo positive printing with regular photo paper, obviously this is not that, but I'm wondering if it's similar to it, what you do is print your negative, then use a special chemical to bleach it, and then expose it to light and then develop it a second time and you get a uh, positive. So I'm wondering if this is anything even close to that, then perhaps it might end up with a very strange result without being exposed to light whatsoever. I don't know what the chemistry is like, so this might not work at all. Now I know from experience that these can develop in daylight, so I'm not really gonna do a light test, but I'm very curious to see what'll happen with them in complete darkness. So this guy's done developing, and as you can see, um, many strange artifacts. This separation in the corner, don't know what happened to this part though. And uh, there's lots of speckliness all over it, and I do not know what caused that. Because I don't think it's from, you know, shaking it. I think it might be dirty rollers or something, because it's also happening on this one, which I, of course, left to develop in peace in my pocket, and it also happened a little bit with this one too, so I'll have to look into that a bit. But anyway, it's time for the last experiment, myth, whatever. I just want to play around with heat, that's all. So, uh... In chemistry, you learn that heat makes chemical reactions happen faster, which can mess up some timing layers and probably cause some other artifacts. Potentially causing weird colors and enhancing artifacts that would already be there. But hey, look at how fast it's developing. I probably left this clip uncut so you can see how quick it goes. It pretty much looks normal, actually. I might have to exp- Wow, the table is really hot. I might have to experiment with some maybe more colorful photos. I don't know. We'll see. Jeez, that is really hot. 
Well, that absolute darkness Polaroid is probably done developing, so we'll see if that did anything. Three, two, one. And it's normal. 